Hello Aquarius, this is Carrie from Celestial Forecasts with your reading for the second half of December. And as you might notice, I'm not calling it the love and life reading. I'm just tapped into whatever energies are presenting itself here and just really allowing the angel guides to communicate to me what needs to come through for you before this year comes to an end. So let's take a look and see what is going to present itself here. General advice as always, so please keep that in mind throughout and take from it as always what makes sense for you. Release the rest. So I'm going to start with this deck by Calico Moon. This is the Pining Rose Love Oracle. All right, so Aquarius... Aquarius season will be here before we know it, but for now we are in Sagittarius season. So what's up? What do you need to know right now? Heading into the second half of December, as well as Capricorn season around the corner. Wow, this year has flown by. What do you need to know? letters okay so this could be of course an actual letter love letters maybe that you've kept or held on to it could be the other person of course in today's world we've got text messages we've got emails we've got voice messages we've got direct messages on social media so however way this quote unquote letter is represented for you and your person aquarius so this could also be an indication that there is communication that's going to be coming in we have soul level. So you guys are definitely connecting. Okay, there's something very special here about this relationship, the connection. We also have you are my light. That is what you represent in their life, in their heart. And they are clearly thinking of you. Okay, so I'm getting here. This is somebody that you're not with currently. And then it's not over. Okay, so if you've wondered, for those of you at a distance, are we really done? They certainly don't want it to be done. Part of the reason why you guys might be in separation to begin with is because of this. They were afraid to commit, possibly still afraid to commit. We'll have to see. But they don't like the separation. They don't like the distance. So let's pick up off of that vibe and see what's going on. I'm going to pull from my illuminated star tarot. This is volume one. And for those of you, of course, who are interested in watching part two of this reading, it will be available on my Patreon page. That link will be down below. So if you resonate with the messages here, I'd love to see you over there. So they were afraid of commitment. But we do have the Nine of Cups here, which is satisfaction, wish fulfillment, emotional stability. So part of the reason why they don't want it to be over is perhaps they have had a shift in their energy. Maybe they think of this very differently at this point. Look at this. We've got the Six of Pentacles, so equality. They know that in order for this to be a, a relationship that is successful and can go the distance, they're going to have to contribute to it just as much as you are you know it's about equality it's about equal give and take and if that's been a one-way street thus far then that is an issue and that might have contributed to why you guys had to go your separate ways look at this we've got the four of cups this is a card of boredom and the disconnectedness okay between two people you represent that light, Aquarius. And so I feel without you, their world just hasn't been as exciting per se, you know, and it, it is coming through as boredom. You represent that light, you know, you uplift them, you make them happy. Look at this, the sun. So this is telling us that that's what you represent in their world. That energy of the sun could be reflective off of that light. This, of course, is very happy energy. When they think about you, it brings a smile to their face. When they're not with you, this is the energy that they are in. We've got the Ace of Pentacles. Beautiful. So I feel 
this person that you are thinking about at this point in time, Aquarius, this is what they want to bring in, which is a solid offer of commitment. You see, they were afraid of it before, but they're not anymore. So you might have walked away from this person because they were afraid of commitment and it just was not going anywhere. But I feel there has been a shift in this person's way of thinking and how they feel and knowing ultimately if they don't do anything about this, they're going to lose you forever. You know, right now you guys are not together, but they don't want it to be over. They're clearly thinking about you and they are perhaps thinking about communicating to you and reaching out because you are their dream come true. You are their wish come true. And we've got the sun presenting itself here. Very positive energies. This is giving you guys another opportunity to come back together. This is a very joyful energy. Very successful partnership. And this as well with that Ace of Pentacles. Maybe during this time of separation, they have worked on their career, their finances. They're in a much better place. And I feel at this point, they are ready to commit. So it may have just come down to timing as to why you guys ran into some issues here. But it, it looks pretty good as far as you guys being able to reconnect in the 3D. And through that soul level, I feel you guys are connecting in the 5D anyway. They still feel your vibes, your energies. They pick up off of your thoughts and maybe you do as well. When you guys think about each other, you're picking up off of each other's thoughts. That's what's presenting itself there. Let's take a look and see what else here. I'm going to go ahead and pull from my Sunshine and Rainbows deck. Angels and Spirit Guides, please, for Aquarius, what else do we need to know? Ooh, look at this. Okay, this is interesting. The hot siren and the fireman in this deck represents divine counterparts. I don't know if you and your person, if you guys have fire in your chart, but if not, this is telling us that there's definitely this intense heat between the two of you. So the hot siren temperatures will rise when you connect with this sensual, seductive love partner passionate about life and romance. An inferno of heat burns hot for the one who wins their heart, body, and soul. That represents the feminine. The fireman, of course, representing the masculine. Sizzling, chemistry, hot-tempered, excitable, spontaneous adventures, and doesn't hold back in love. A red-hot, passionate love connection. Whoa. And then we've got the microphone. Wants the world to know how they feel about you. Won't mince words. Wants you to hear them loud and clear when they declare their love to you. So you see this person, they were not the type before to want to tell the world how they felt. You know, they might have wanted to keep it on the down low, but they couldn't ignore that intense fiery chemistry between the two of you. And now they don't care who knows because they're ready to commit to you, I feel. That's a part of the energy. So let's go ahead and add to this. I'm going to pull from my Tabby Tarot teacher. Angels and spirit guides, please, for Aquarius. Maybe this kind of surprised them how intense this chemistry actually was between the two of you. You know? And we've got more fire coming in with that Knight of Wands. Okay, definitely action-oriented masculine. They're not afraid to come towards you, to tell you they love you, that they want you. You know, you could be dealing with a very impulsive masculine here, but they're very passionate about wanting to revive this partnership. You guys could even be twin flames right here. We've got more fire energy coming through. Wow. So... A happy reunion, bringing harmony back into this connection. This is definitely a cause for celebration. It could come together by way of marriage or simply you guys working together in the relationship. 
to elevate things, to take things to the next level. And then we've got the King of Wands. Look at all of these wands representing fire. That's amazing. Really amazing, because to me, the King of Wands is very similar to the energy of the firemen right here. They're, they really are ready to take the lead in this connection to shout it from the rooftops, you know, just to tell everybody. It's like, this is my feminine. This is the one that I want. This is the one that I love. Wow, that's pretty cool. So let's dig a little bit deeper into this connection, Aquarius, if you're interested in watching part two. Of course, I'll include that link down below, but this looks really good guys as far as you guys coming back together so if they weren't the the type to commit before they are now okay so that's where i'm going to leave this one if you're interested in your own personal private reading that info is down below thank you guys so much for those interested in part two i'll see you over on the patreon side take care